Hi everyone, it's Martin Chung from Martin Chung Photography. Today I'm going to do a short review on Album Stomp version 2. This is the latest version from Stomp Software. Uh, just in case you're not familiar with what Album Stomp does, it's a package which makes it incredibly easy and quick for you to design an album for your customers um, by essentially dragging and dropping photos to a blank template and then you can very quickly cycle through them to get a design that you like. Typically your album suppliers probably going to have their own tools but often they're not the best. They're more functional, maybe just about good enough um, and some suppliers that I've used have been downright difficult and frustrating to use. However, it's fair to say that by using Album Stomp I can now design a full wedding album in 15 to 20 minutes whereas in the past it'd probably take me a good few hours. On top of that, Album Stomp lets me sync the design to their album proofer cloud website so my customers can see the designs, make comments on what they'd like to see changed and then approve them when they're happy. That's a huge benefit because otherwise I'm going to have to export the pages and either create a PDF or shrink the JPEGs and then send them to the customer. It just makes things quicker and it projects a much more professional image for your business. So let's, with that, without further ado, let's quickly go into the um, software itself. So here we've got the, the first screen. So here I can choose some albums that, I, that I've been working on in the past, but I'm going to create a new album. So here um, I can choose from popular album manufacturers. I'm going to use Enphoto, who's my regular album supplier. I'm going to choose a uh, 25 by 25 and we'll just call it, yeah, that one's fine actually. If your manufacturer is not here, you can click on custom album and type in the dimensions you need there, which your supplier should be able to give you. Once you've got the right template, you just choose its album time and um, it brings you up with this nice new um, template screen. So here you've got your spread, that's the middle divider where your, your pages will split. And to add images, you can either drop, drag and drop your images into there, or what I'll do is just very quickly um, select some photographs. Okay, now they're imported, um, it's really really simple i don't know how else to describe it you just select the photographs you want drag and drop them onto the screen you can either drop them to the left to the right or in the middle nine times out of ten i do the middle and um, here you have a layout if you want to um, adjust that layout you can either press the space bar or you can see some different designs here um, on, on the on the right hand side but I'll press the space bar and as you can see it cycles through the different designs so let's just I, I quite like let's well it doesn't really matter let's just pretend I like that one and I think it's great but the only thing I don't like is the fact that the guest book's over here and I'd prefer to see that photo there so if all you need to do to swap it around is double click and then when it says drag to switch just drag it over to where you want and let go and as you can see, it very, very quickly adjusts that layout for you. If you want to delete the photo, you can click on delete here. You can, you know, adjust the, the, the photograph more here like so. So let's, for argument's sake, say that's fine. This is only a test. And one of the new features that I really like in version 2 is the ability to change the margins. So um, if you hover over the margin here, I can just click and hold and just drag it a bit more like that so you can see um, there's a lot of adjustments I can do here um, if I want to crop you just click on the crop button and I've got different crop options here that I can do um, but again I'm not going to change it so I'm just going to click cancel there once you're happy with the layout you just um, you can start a new spread off here um, so that's spread two and let me just I'm just going to do one more spread just because I don't want to be doing a full album here so for argument's sake let's just choose these two photos and in the middle there like so okay um, and then if I'm happy with that I can just click stomp it and um, it will create the JPEGs for me uh, that I can now upload to the album manufacturer um, tools gives me a few more bits of control so here I can add a border if I really want to probably not the best layout to show you that but you, you know 
you get the idea. If I want to make the corners of my photos round, I can do that here like so. Um, as you can see, the higher I go, the more rounded the corners get. Opacity, that's pretty self-explanatory. I can add text um, onto the album spreads. Not that I generally do that, but I can if I want. Um, and these just give you a bit more control over maximizing the, the, the photos across the page. Um, the feedback, this is where you, if you've synced it to the album proof uh, um, cloud software, this is where your customer feedback will appear. Um, you can leave comments for the customer, they can leave comments for you, and when they're happy, they click on the album approve button and you'll see that here. In terms of settings, it's very, very simple. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but as you can see, there's not loads here um, to, to be messing about with. So that's a quick look at Album Stomp 2, and now let's take a moment to talk about the price. Uh, as you can see, if you wanna buy the single user pack, then it's only $99 for the single user install, which actually covers you for uh, two different machines. If you've got more people that you want to use it, then it's $179 for five. Um, the album proof of software is $49 a year. This to me is what you need to have a good think about since its competitors do charge a lot more for their cloud proofing software. You'll need to factor in the annual cost of the proofing as well as the initial purchase price when you're trying to work out the total cost of ownership. My advice is if you're gonna buy this, get the album design and proofing pack where you save a little bit of money over buying album stomp and album proofer separately. But the real good value one is the all-inclusive pack, which actually includes Block Stomp 3 for an extra $24. Block Stomp 3 is one of those tools which is uh, so useful that it's just well worth the money. In terms of features, Album Stomp certainly can produce beautiful looking albums very, very quickly. But to me, it still does lack a few of the bells and whistles of its competitors, um, some of the fancier templates, although you can, to a certain extent, create these yourself. If you're a busy photographer who produces a lot of albums each year, then you may still want to check out its competitors and compare their features before deciding if the additional cost they're charging is worth the money. If you're starting out, or maybe you don't do many albums a year, or if you just want something quick and effective without the huge price tag, if that's you, then Album Stomp will probably suit you very well. In terms of value though, I have to say that I think Album Stomp is the clear winner. Not only is it significantly cheaper than its competitors to buy, the ongoing cost is also a lot cheaper, making it the, the, you know, the lowest cost to own in the long run, um, and for something which I would say does 95% of what its competitors do. I hope that's helped you. If you've got any questions, then do drop me a comment below. I will do my best to answer them. Otherwise, have a nice day.